I think uh, clearly we've made the statement um, about the camaraderie that clearly we've had the last uh, week, two weeks. And too often we know that partisan gridlock really derails good public policy, but not this time. You know, this time in the Senate, as stated earlier, uh, Republicans and Democrats came together and found a simple solution for funding uh, programs, uh, these programs for our seniors and those with disabilities. Um, it makes no sense, really, that the House budget leaders would try to pass last-minute legislation that is unrealistic and seeks to jeopardize the health and welfare of nearly 120,000 seniors and those with disabilities. Only funding those programs in the event that we have a roughly, what is it, $80 million in excess funding over the next month and a half is unrealistic and is disingenuous. Senate members met uh, for hours on end, coming up with a solution. Uh, we've had a lot of discussion about the funding sweep. For those funds that would be eligible for sweep for the $35 million, total over $3 billion here in the state. That's less than 1%. That funding is adequate. Those funds that were not uh, excessive, and those, of course, so that there would be maybe some danger or concern to those in the state that we would potentially reduce funding, of course those funds wouldn't necessarily be eligible. So um, with that, I'm proud of the work we've done here in the Senate. Uh, we have a very viable solution, and I'm really disappointed at this point that the process has taken the turn that it has from the House.